Hi, it's Alamo City Cello here. A couple of years back, I made a video series entitled How to Get Good Sound on YouTube. Well, in the last year, I've made upgrades to my home recording studio. I want to show you what I'm working with these days. The microphone that I'm using today is a Natty NT1 A. It's a large diaphragm condenser. I like the way this sounds on cello and on voice. I think it has a very realistic quality. Also, it doesn't cost a lot of money. You can pick this up used for around 100 I think new is around $250. Um, mine came with this nifty little uh, pop screen on there, so uh, very good investment. I, I think this mic is definitely wins the award for best bang for the buck. Good sound for not a lot of money. I upgraded the preamp and I'm very happy with this as well. Um, this is a Focusrite unit. Uh, I'll put the model number in the description. I like the sound. Now, how do you judge the sound of something? And this is very subjective. This is really where it gets a, kind of a slippery slope. And no two musicians are going to want exactly the same sound. So this is what I do. I go online and I listen to examples of, you know, uh, the microphone. Uh, you know, I'll listen to YouTube videos where they use this mic. And if you just type it in, a lot of times you'll get to see how does this sound on, on violin, how does this sound on guitar. How does this sound on piano? And that'll give you a kind of a rough guesstimation of how that microphone sounds. Same with preamps as well. Punch in the preamp in question and just listen to music, musical examples. I would be wary of plunking down good money on something you haven't heard, at least online. So, I mean, there might be higher end units, but if there's no real examples out there, YouTube is only one. I mean, YouTube compresses the audio, so maybe that's not the best place to go. You can go to forums and find higher bit ratings, and uh, it just sounds better. But uh, now, as far as the, the software goes, that's a whole other video. Uh, I have what came with the Focusrite is this live edition. It's Ableton Live, which I think is really good for, like, in spontaneous sort of recording. It, 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 it's, it's good. There is a learning curve. Probably Pro Tools is a bit more industry standard-ish. I mean, a lot of people use Pro Tools and that's a good thing, so you can share sessions and things. But on the plus side, what I want to say about Ableton Live is they have excellent customer service. I've called and, and, and you can get through uh, to somebody and talk to them directly and they will help you. So uh, Ableton Live has great customer service, at least I think so. Like, here's an example of just, I was recording a little bit of Schubert Arpeggioni. Mm Good, good, good. So, I mean, overall, I like the sound. Oh, speaking of equipment, I don't know if I mentioned this. I have a KRK Rocket 5s, and I, I, I like them. Uh, monitors are the way to go. I mean, I think the, the days of the hi-fi stereo, the independent hi-fi are probably numbered. Um, not to say there's not some great spe older speakers out there. There are. Uh, these are good. These, these ran me around, I, I want to say, about 250 a piece. Um, they're pretty well built. Now, the larger... Pretty much the larger the speaker, the more bass response you're going to get. So this is a compromise. But, you know, the room that I'm in is pretty small. So, it's you know, I'm thinking of maybe getting a subwoofer to get more bass response, like a third unit. Uh, but the clarity is there. Um, also, I've upgraded the, the, the cans here, the headphones. These are Zennheiser. I'm a Zennheiser fan. HD280 Pro. So, um, if you want to hear some examples, and these are just initial, these are just initial examples of mine. But uh, take a listen to Circles um, by Sarah Adler, and also um, I Want You Back by Tori Allen. Uh, I made some, I did some arranging for them, and I used this equipment, and I used it. You know, I I think it works pretty well overall. Uh, anyway, so that's just, that's, that's pretty much all I have. Okay, you guys take care. Adios.